Hello, my name's Carol and this is my channel So Carol and I'm coming to you today with my five handmade essentials. Now this is a tag that has been going around the sewing community and I was tagged by the wonderful Michelle from Michelle Sews Again. I will link her channel below because she is the most colourful, talented, artistic lady I think in the sewing community. So I'll put the tag below. Of course, the five handmade essentials whole theme was started by Sarah from Naughty Gnome Crafts, who again is the most amazing YouTube creator. She is extremely talented. She's always coming up with fresh ideas. So I encourage you, if you've never come across her, which I'm sure you have, link, I'll put the link below. Now, five handmade essentials. When I was tagged with this, I had a long think. Now, I actually looked up the word essential and I'm going to keep true to the definition. Essential being absolutely necessary. So in this video, you're not gonna see a lot of fancy blouses. You're not gonna see some really fitted pants and trousers and stuff like that. No, I'm going to give you my five handmade essentials. Now, I don't have a fancy lifestyle. I spend my life either exercising, walking the dog, with the grandchildren, or sewing. <laughs> so yeah, there won't be many fancy items here, but it will give you, if you are a beginner, a little bit of an idea where you could start. So I'm not coming from my sewing room today because it is absolutely lovely outside. I'm instead sat on something my husband hates and that is our 90s 70s style swing sofa in the garden so I'm, I'm trying not to swing as I as I film this but yeah he hates this I love it so I'll start with the first item which is a top so for me it has to be t-shirt now I did look up a fact that this actually, a t-shirt well, obviously was started as an undergarment even dating back to the 19th century and then of course um, the US Navy brought them in in 1920s and, and it was made famous then in the 1950s with say Marlon Brando or James Dean and then it became a symbol of masculinity and independence. Well, yeah, we've all taken them on board. And actually they say that everybody has about 10 to 20, on average, t-shirts in their wardrobes. I've easily got more than that, especially if you add up all the, the freebie ones you get or um, holiday ones you pick up. My husband certainly has way more than 20. The t-shirt pattern that I first started using and I'm still loyal to is New Look 6458. I tend to, I've made the sleeveless, I've made this normal t-shirt, I've actually adapted it slightly now because I'm a little bit bigger. I've made the trousers, I've made the dress, I've made the, I've made the skirt, I've made everything. But for a nice, easy t-shirt pattern, I always recommend these. I have so many. I brought a few down, but I, I just, just so many. It's a t-shirt. They are my essential top pattern. Keeping true to the philosophy of essential being absolutely necessary, when I was choosing a bottom piece, I am afraid I have to say the thing I make most of, which I say is essential, is the Acacia Knickers from Megan Nielsen. Now this is a free pattern that you can still get hold of um, if you sign up to the Megan Nielsen newsletter on her website. I have made so many of these and it is all I wear. Um, yeah, I've, this is just a handful. I've made about 25, I think. I have this box, which is always on the go. Whenever I finish making a jersey t-shirt or something with cotton jersey, the scrap fabric goes in there and that's my pile to make my new ones. I've also got some fantastic lace which I got from Beyond the Pink Door. Now, talking about that channel, 
The reason I started making this pattern is because I saw an online tutorial of hers which I still think is the best and the easiest. Um, so Andrea did this. I will put the link below to that tutorial because it's brilliant and it makes it really easy. And I can bash one of these out in about half an hour. But yeah, that's my always my ongoing box. So I have to say, I'm being very controversial, but that is my essential bottom. For the bottom. <laughs> so next was number three, and number three was uh, all in one, one piece. For me, I think what is essential for me to have in my wardrobe that I can dress up or dress down is in fact a shift dress. It suits my figure quite well, I can adapt it how I want, so I'm going to use my favourite New Look 6619. I've made this quite a few times. Here are a few of the ones I've made. I've made, I've played around with the stripes with them before, I tend to be in linen, this was in a lovely chambray. This was the controversial one I actually wore in my Friday Sews video last week. And another linen one. I, I like doing it in the stripes because I like playing around with the direction. It's a very easy dress. It does come with pockets. I do love this pattern. Um, and I think something like a shift dress. As I said, you can, you can wear with trainers. You can wear dress it up. Um, if you want to make this pattern slightly fitted, you can put fisheye darts in the back and just make it a bit smarter but yeah that is my essential all-in-one my next one number four was a layering piece and what am i going to choose i'm a british lady i'm going to choose a cardi this is the quick sews 3693 i've made it a few times i can only find one version of it though but this is just um slightly waterfall cardigan it's not as you can see, it doesn't come down that low in the front. I'm not sure if we'll be able to get this pattern anymore, um, but there are plenty similar out there. So I mean, this was made in a wonderful rib nib. It's almost like a ponte. It's amazing. I use it on my holidays. I use it and the thing. It's got a nice, like a shawl collar. It's a fantastic pattern. And for me, a layering piece has to be a cardi. So that was quick sew. 3693. I have made that actually, um, but it came out quite oversized. In fact, this whole pattern comes quite oversized. But as I said, there are loads and loads of patterns out there that are very similar. Akadi. Number five was a wild card. Now, this could be anything, it could be something uh, handmade, something you made for someone else, um, an accessory. When I was thinking about what is my essential handmade thing I have um, completely necessary, as I said, I'm keeping true to the theme. It has to be something I made. It's very simple, but wow, it saves me a lot of trouble. It's this little bag. Now you won't believe it, but this little bag hangs on my bedpost by my bed. I am extremely short-sighted. I wear contact lenses during the day. Um, my prescription's actually minus 11, which is <laughs> not good at all. Um, but obviously, I take my lenses out and I put my glasses on to go to bed. Now, for years and years and years, I, if you're short-sighted out there, you know exactly what I mean. The first thing you do, you wake up in the morning and you are scrabbling for your glasses because you cannot see them. And if they drop on the floor, you <laughs> haven't got a hope. But I decided to invent or design this little bag. This sits on my bedpost. My glasses go inside it. I put them in first thing, last thing at night. First thing in the morning, I know exactly where my glasses are gonna be. I just feel for the bag and I can get my glasses out. And wow, does this save so much scrabbling. Where are my glasses? But yeah, so for me, number five wildcard was my little bag that my glass holds my glasses. I very often take this away on holiday with me as well. Same problem. I do hope you've enjoyed watching my five handmade essentials. Very different from everybody else's. I know, very basic, but it might give you a few ideas. Thank you so much to everybody watching and do go and watch everybody else's because it has been absolutely fascinating. I nearly forgot. It's my turn now to tag someone and I'm going to tag two people. I'm going to tag Jen 
from today in Jen's sewing room because I don't think she's been tagged yet. So Jen, it's up to you. Of course, when you come back from your travels. And I'm also going to tag Diane from Silver Threads Sewing because I would love to know what are her five handmade essentials as I'm sure you would too. So I look forward to seeing yours. So thank you once again and I will see you in another video or maybe on my hashtag Friday Sews. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.